Hey everybody, welcome back to Seeing Cuisine. Uh, today's going to be more of an abbreviated episode, mainly because I thought we had all four issues of Milk and Honey, but it seems that was a lie. Um, instead, we just have issues one through three. Um, issue four we'll be picking up tomorrow. I guarantee it. Um, from Giancarlo, because he'll be at Noise, which I'm really stoked about. And he's also our table neighbor. So, Stephen Kissel illustration will be a sharing table with me. Um, and Giancarlo with, um, sorry, I'm veering off there. Giancarlo with Milk and Honey will be on the table right next to us. So, we can chit chat with him, maybe get a little interview with him. <gasps> Because he hinted, and last time I talked to him, about issue 5 being in the works. And I'm really stoked. So, um, when I signed on for issue 3, because David and I have a short story, um, short comic, published in issue 3 with Slothy. Um, a character that is from uh, another property that we kind of came up with called um, Spruce Falls Sentinel. Um, eventually, we'll get back to that, but I had to take a hiatus from even thinking about it because now I just want to redraw everything. You know how that is. If you do any art, you're like, I did it. I'm really proud of it. I really don't like what I did. So, you know how that goes. Anyway, um, and Giancarlo had given us issues one and two. So, we have issues one through three. Um, Stephen Kissel, who is our buddy and my table mate for pretty much almost any shows you've seen us at the past three years. Um, he is in issue four, and I'm really stoked about it because it's an amazing story. And uh, everybody who's ever involved in this um, is just, it, it, it's great. So uh, here we go. Bon appetit. Okay, so um, change of pace. Usually we have a black background. I have that put up right now. We've been getting ready for noise. And, um, so we're in the studio that's not fully finished yet. There's, um, Roy, our copier. One of them, at least. And, um, so we're going to review it right here on this table. I apologize for any shadows this time around. I don't have our lights set up. And, um, it'll be set up shortly. Anyway, let's get into it. Uh, Milk and Honey is a definite all-ages approach to mini comics um let's start with issue one um one thing i love about these is that though the cover is gorgeous he finds an artist to do the cover each time and it's full color beauty inside is all black and white uh one thing he does he does kind of form form it like a magazine which is nice uh, any of the artists that are inside are in this cool little hexagon. I love being part of a hexagon. And inside you've got everything from, ooh, that's kind of creepy. I love it. Um, you have everything from comics. I believe there's a, usually a couple interviews in here. Not in this one. This looks just like comics, but it's all black and white comics. So that does keep, a, um, costs down. And you have some ads and stuff in there. Occasionally, Connoisseurs, which a lot of us miss, so Connoisseurs needs to come back. Um, it is staple bound, and um, this has been in our collection for a little bit, so that one's kind of, you know, not as pretty on the sides anymore. Uh, let's see. Issue two, I love this cover. This is from spring 2017. Um,. And it gives you a little information in the back. You can buy these on Gumroad, I think, still, if I'm not mistaken. If not, you can hit up Milk and Honey on Instagram, and I'm sure there's a link there. I will find the link, and I will put it um, in the description, too, so you can buy some. Also, at any zine fest in the Wilmington, North Carolina, Virginia area, he usually is there with them. So, this is issue two. This one, we've got... Quite a few comics in here. A lot of creators. He's really good about putting ways to find them. And I'm super happy about that. Because there are anthologies I've been part of. That there's no ways to link. Um, they didn't put any links on how you can get a hold of us. Or websites. So it's kind of like. Eh, well I did it. My name's on it. But you 
you can't even get a hold of me so ha ah, there you go so this one you've got a lot of good look at that you got like ink work um uh some digital this is a this is an interview i believe yeah this is an interview um which i think is really cool is the one that we're in um i do love this cover it's so kind of creepy and awesome i would probably give these a pg to pg 13 rating there's some uh information like some stuff in there that is maybe a little touchy like um i think there was some like alien dingling or something like that in one of them but it's, it's like you know mad kind of humor on that stuff so it's not like you know like gore and sex and violence oh no it, it's it's fun and it's usually pretty lighthearted. Um, this one was bigger than the last two episodes. We have some normal content creators that I've seen other places, like Sage Coffee, who, um, Sage is a really cool person and does a lot of stuff for, I believe, the Lily online, so that's pretty cool. Oh, look at there's There's the creators of Zine Cuisine being, like, some sort of weird mutated one body thing. I don't understand it, but I drew it, so there you go. And you got Kevin Ward, who's a buddy and makes some really, like, Gary Larson-esque stuff. So, I look forward to whenever Kevin decides to get off his rumpus and put a book together. Hint, hint, hint. Please make a zine, Kevin. We've been waiting for it. Please, Kevin. Please. Go over to Chips in My Beard and um, hit him up and say, put your comics in the zine for the love of Pete. And uh, also go over to Sage, and um, Sage is on Twitter and Instagram, as is generally, almost everybody has um, Twitter uh, occasionally, Instagram definitely. Um, Sage is really cool, so you should go over, say hey to Sage. Uh, let's see, yeah, we got some really cool people, comics are for kids, and Drew Greenstone's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we got some really cool things. I love the very sparseness of some of the comics in here like you know they're they're stories without words which are a complete like soft spot for me i love a good like line art that's just not like major and then i also love things with great big um you know alleyways through each gutters rather um through each comic strip which you know tells a story which you know the gutter is the space between. Ha 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 ha. See, I did learn something from all those books. And, um, you've got, like, you know, ink wash. You've got, that's digital, and I love it because it's all about kitty kitties. And, let's see, you got your, uh, Rachel Dukes interview. Rachel Dukes, I think a lot of people know of Rachel. Pretty cool person, if I do say so myself. Um, more kitties. Oh, look at that. That is a poem with a composite. I kind of dig that. It's really interesting. And there's a little comic that's by me and David. Um, yeah, so you get a lot, a good breadth of uh, varying talents and varying um, like purposes in comics. Um, a little bit of ad stuff in the back because you can get really cool tees and hats and stuff from um, from them. And, uh, that's pretty much um, issues one through three. Uh, I, I can't tell you how much I am in love with the way they do stuff. Giancarlo is a very hard worker. And, um, yeah, issue five is about to, information is going to come over issue five. So if you'd like to get in issue five, if you're a cartoonist or something along those lines, um, sequential artist, so however you want a storyteller, that kind of thing. Please go ahead and um, hit him up. Go ahead and follow him on Instagram. I believe there's a Facebook page, but most artists are going to hit up on a, an Instagram okay. page. He's really awesome, and you should buy them. I will have issue four, and we'll do a little mini review with Giancarlo in a small interview tomorrow at Noise. So, thumbs up. Let's go back to the end. Okay, so, um... I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I do love them. They're great to collect. It's a great uh, half half letter page kind of um, comic, which is one of my favorite sizes other than square. 
so let's let's talk uh, really briefly about uh, zines as general, and I want your input on a few things. Um, I'm thinking about doing episodes on Tuesdays and Fridays with special episodes posting Saturdays and Mondays if, if after a show, like show hall. Um, also, I want to thank a few people who have reached out and sent us zine packages. We are currently pouring through them, and I want to, you know, definitely do some episodes on ones that are, like, creator content sent in because I really get a good chance to research it if I spend a little time looking into it. And there's one box that we got from Portland that <laughs> has completely blown our minds here at uh, Zine Cuisine. And um, let's just say there's going to be some music involved in it that is not my weird kazoo music that I chose. <laughs> So, pretty stoked about that one. Um, have a couple others that are coming in, and um, this other one that had some great zines in it, some beautiful, beautiful work. I can't wait to review it. If you haven't already figured out, I am relentlessly positive about anybody who makes zines. I'm not very critical on... Like, oh, this one's, like, terrible, and your mom's gonna hate it, and, oh, critics, 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 and that was my phone, because I did not put it on airplane mode. So, like I said, this is a very ad hoc episode. <laughs> Bear with me. Um, so, kind of, um, really stoked when somebody asks, hey, can we send you our zines? And I'm like, yes, send zines. Yes. Okay, that was really disturbing. Uh, send zines. Uh, hit us up. We'll give you our address. Um, we vow to take a good chunk of zines. We're going to put some in our own library here because we have people that come in and they look at our zines and, like, you know, it's kind of like a little mini zine library. We don't really have it in our library system here. Um, no matter how many ch I've tried and volunteered and begged for it. We just don't. It, it did not happen ever. Um, so I like having a few things on the shelf that I can share with others. And occasionally if a new friend comes over something like, look, hey, cool, you want that scene? I know the creator. I can probably get another one. If not, C'est La Vie is going into some new hands. And it's not just sitting on our shelf for us to look at on a rainy day or refer to for other things. So um, I love sharing zines. Zines are all about you know, sharing and, um, information. Uh, so if you have a zine and you want us to send it in, you want us to do a little review, we do the reviews mainly because of you. We want the creators, uh, to be uplifted and get their name out there. We want the readers, you, to get zines and enjoy them and, you know, maybe make some zines of your own. So, like I said, we want some review stuff from y'all. Um, what do you want to see in the channel? We we have some, like, like history ones kind of planned. We have some, um, uh, some tutorials and maybe some, oh, maybe a couple of field trips. Field trips to different places where you can print scenes. Like, I want to see a risograph printer in action. Um, I would like to see a copy shop and see exactly how they put together some zines, you know? Something like that. Well, tell me what you want below. Um, we're going to try to make this happen. Um, some news on Cricut. Cricut is coming along. Cricut should be ready probably into February. Um, making puppets is very difficult and you haven't done it for 20 plus years so uh she's gonna be gorgeous though and you know i think she's gonna be about a size 2t t-shirt so you know if you come across any cool nerdy kid t-shirts i want her to be able to wear them so anyway uh that's about it for this episode i'm gonna wrap it up by saying uh this is possible from viewers like you go ahead subscribe hit that little bell on the bottom that just tells us that, you know, you want to hear from us and it's going to be delivered to your inbox 
as often as we put episodes out. Also, um, if you want to hit us on Twitter and um, Instagram, Instagram, I believe it's uh, Zine Cuisine Channel. And on Twitter, I messed up and um, didn't hit the button where it, I could do my own thing. So now it's Cuisine underscore Zine. <laughs> it's just the way it is. Oh, well, it works. So you can follow us there. Uh, and a giveaway. Giveaway alert. So, we have a bunch of zines that we're going to put together with some stickers and some other fun little promos. Maybe some prints, some postcards, that kind of thing. You know, make a nice little package. And if when we hit 100 subscribers on Instagram, two things happen. One, most important, I can change this from www.youtube slash gobbledygook to www.youtube slash zine cuisine channel which is really important on how you viewers can find us um that being said when we hit 100 and also after 30 days youtube allows us the privilege of doing that it's really important so, I figure we get to 100, we're at like 52 now. We're going to do a giveaway. And this little package, I will ship generally anywhere. It's going to be a nice little package. And um, that's all you got to do. All you got to do is subscribe. And I will take everybody who's in our subscription list, because I cannot talk. And we're going to take the subscription list and we're going to pick one winner. So it's not off of our Instagram or off of our Facebook. Um, you know, you can like all those all you want, but if you're not a subscriber, I'm not going to give it away to somebody who just randomly liked the Facebook page. It's not fair to the people who are actually doing the work on making us seen and heard. Um, that's it. Uh, just want to say thank you. The show isn't possible without viewers like you. Patreon's going to be coming soon if you want to um, join that. There's going to be some exclusive zines and stuff that are going to be in, like, different monthly packages. And we'll be able to get, like, I don't know, a camera and an actual editing setup that's not my phone. So it doesn't go ding whenever I'm in the middle of filming. And uh, that would really help. So, anyway, bon appetit. See you tomorrow. I'll be posting stuff from Noyce. Um, really excited about the show. Again, Norfolk, Virginia. Go to it, get yourself a beer, get your face, take pictures in the Bippy Cat cutout. That's really fun. And come and see us. Um, I have a couple of questions of the day. And I want to get you to say whatever answer you want. And I'm going to make it a little, like, video collage. And I'm really excited about this because it's, like, you know, really cool. Again, bon appetit. See you next time. Good, 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 good